So today is um, super exciting because it's going to be the first firing of the clay oven this year. Um, it's spring. Spring has well and truly arrived, I think we can fairly safely say, um, in the south of the UK. It's sunny-ish day, as you can see, I think. Um, there are some clouds about, but hopefully it'll be alright and we'll get any rain. So. Um, um, you can see that I haven't managed to uh, fix the, the, the broken bits and bobs on here. Uh, the chimney in particular probably um, could do with doing something with the outside, but I'm going to fire it up and just see what happens. So, um, what I'm going to do today, not just fire it up, clearly I'm going to cook something. And so I intend to cook um, a slow roast pork joint in here today for um, Sunday lunch. Um, and when I say slow roast, I'm probably, depending on the temperature that we get to and the temperature we can sustain, we're probably talking about uh, something like four hours or so. Um, but we'll have a look at what happens as, um, as we go along. So first things first, we need to fire the oven up. So what have I got here? We've got everything you need. Some um, chopped up bits and bobs, um, some um, softwood, which is really good for starting the... Um, the fire in the oven, chopped up into these sort of small pencil-y um, size um, chunks which is just spot on. Um, this is a great big load of hardwood that I've chopped up, this is good for a bit later on. Once you've got the blaze going as you'll see, um, using the softwood which burns much easier and then you can switch to the hardwood which, um, which is much better to sort of sustain the, the heat uh, once the fire is going so we'll be able to see that. Um, some loose paper of course and a lighter. Okay, so hopefully you can now see that um, I've made a small sort of pile of um, screwed up newspaper into the sort of pyramid shape, that sort of thing, all around the bottom, one on the top. Um, and then around it I've piled um, the softwood that we're going to use um, to, to, to start the fire with um, in a sort of wigwammy type shape, I guess, you know, sort of traditional fire starting type of thing, just in the entrance of, of the oven, as you can see there. So we're going to give it a to go, hopefully see if we can light it. Okay, I'll try not to burn myself. Let's see if we can light another bit of it here. Okay. What we need to do is wait for that to catch. So um, now it's just a simple process of keeping the fire going, keep adding wood to it, and don't do anything at the moment, keep building it um, in the front of the oven like this until we get to a point where it's um, burning um, quite rapidly and then we'll start moving the fire back slowly into the oven. We'll come back to it. Okay, so we're just a couple of minutes into the, uh, the lighting and you can see that that wood is now burning nicely and of course softwood does so it's perfect for this part if you start with the softwood it'll easily light um, and then as I said at the start you can then after a little while once this is roaring start to add the hardwood um, and we're, so we'll leave it to go for a little while I'll keep adding some wood and then I'll um, show you what to do at the next stage so that's going nicely now that you, you can see there's um, a nice underlying um, layer of hot embers there. You can actually feel the heat um, um, uh, quite quite fiercely outside of the oven entrance here. So what, we, what we're going to try and do now is move it slowly back. The, uh, the idea here is that while it's here at the front, we see most of the heat's actually going um, straight up and out of the chimney. And what we want to do is heat the body of the oven itself uh, and, and the floor so that the, the thing gets really hot and retains um, lots of heat for quite a long time. Um, and while it's at the front here, obviously you can't do that. As I said, most of the heat's coming out the front or out of the chimney, um, just at the top there, as you can see. So wh what you need to do, what, what we're going to do is slowly move this pile of fire back into the, back into the, the body of the oven. Um, don't do it too quickly. That's why I've let it build up this fast. If you move it back too quickly or try to light the fire in the middle of the oven, actually the fire will go out. So um, all you need to do is get something um, to push it back into the oven with. You can use a shovel. Um, I'm actually using my uh, 
uh, baker's peel here because it's just the perfect size. Uh, if you use it back to upside down, um, you can just use it to push um, the embers back. So it's really a very simple case of doing this, not too far, a little bit at a time. So um, you can see slowly pushing it back in, and then about six inches or so. Simple as that, it's spread out a bit. So what I'm going to do now is add some more wood to it and we can build the fire up again from there. Hopefully it won't go out, we'll see. So this is 25 minutes into um, the, sorry, since I've lit the, the fire and you can see that we've got quite a nice um, fire going in the oven there. Now what I'm going to do, I've started adding some of the hardwood, uh, but what I need to do now is now that's burning well since the first pushback, what I want to do now is push it back a little bit more um, and then this is the process from now on. So you keep pushing it back. Uh, and do that. So you push it back and does it spread out a bit, which is fine. You've got to be careful that it doesn't go out, that's the key. So I'm going to just push it back a few minutes there. And so what I'm going to do now. Um, again, he's add some more wood and, and the, f the heat will really start to build in the oven now as it's contained within the body of the oven. Um, as long as you've got a blaze going and it doesn't go out, um, the heat will really start to build and you'll start to develop one of these, a rolling burn, which hopefully you'll be able to see at some point if the camera's up to it. Um, so um, start time to add a little bit more wood, more hardwood and um, we'll come back to it. So that's about 25 minutes or so, so far. Okay, so here we are, 50 minutes into, um, since, since I've lit the fire now, and as you can see I've moved it back um, another stage um, since the last little clip, I've moved the, moved the um, fire back in a little bit further, and what, what I want to do eventually is, is move it um, as near to the back as possible. Uh, but in the middle's um, okay as it is. I put some more wood on. Hopefully you can see that there's what we call a nice rolling burn going in there now. Um, can't get the camera too close actually because it's getting pretty hot now out, out of the front entrance of the oven. In fact, you, you can't put your hand um, in front of it for too long without burning yourself. So um, there's actually quite a lot of heat um, going on in there at the moment now. Um, so what I'm going to do... Um, is keep this up for a little while. So this is 50 minutes in. What this is, it, this really is um, slow cooking, and it, I, I guess um, you know that's what it's all about. It's lovely to be outside in the sunshine, um, getting the fire ready. Um, but while while what I want to do now, the whole idea really for this, for roasting meat in an oven like this, what we could do at this stage, if I wanted to, um, just as an aside, is, is if I was making pizzas, what I'd now do. Is, is keep the fire going for a little bit longer, really, really get the temperature as hot as we possibly can, um, move the embers right to the back, but keep the fire going, so by slowly adding little pieces of wood just to keep the fire going, so every time you put a pizza in, it cooks really quickly and it keeps, it main, the oven maintains that hot temperature you need for cooking something like a pizza. Um, and I'll be doing some pizzas um, next week or, or, or quite soon, so I'll show you how to do that, but the principle's the same with fire in the oven. The only difference, is when you're doing a roast joint, what you want to do is, is is get the oven as hot as it possibly can be. Um, so, so, but but for a sustained period of time, so that the heat penetrates the walls of the oven, the floor of the oven. So, so there's lots of heat um, um, kept within the oven, so that it will it will radiate heat for a long time. The idea is when it gets to the right temperature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the embers, put the fire out basically, leave the embers at the side so it burns down a little bit um, and then I'm going to put um, the door on, put the meat in, put a lid on sorry, then put the door on and then it will just cook as a normal oven but without the fire continually burning. The idea is that, um, that the latent heat within the actual um, oven um, structure will be enough to sustain the heat to cook the meat and actually I want to slow cook this meat anyway so to start with I want the temperature when I first put the meat in to be quite hot so something about 220 to 30 degrees centigrade um, and, and then we'll cook the heat at that sort of high fierce temperature of about 25 minutes to half an hour um, then what I'll do is um, let the temperature gradually decrease in the oven and um, when it gets down to I don't know, about 180 or so, we'll plug up the door, plug up the entrance and then leave the meat in there to cook really slowly. And it should maintain that temperature for a good few hours, but it will drop 
gradually, obviously, over time because there's no more um, heat source being pumped into it. 